Welcome back. It's been a little while since we've uh, we've made a video. Had a, a few things going on in my uh, my personal life that have distracted me a little bit, and uh, yeah, a few upgrades and things happening around the place. So I've, I've got a new editing PC, new camera. Um, I'm working on some new lighting to try and make the videos a little bit better. But uh, in the meantime, I thought we might uh, see what mischief we can get up to down in the workshop today. So to that end, I've got a. Ultronix Maximite kit. This is the uh, the original, well not the original Maximite kit, but one of the earlier versions from about 2012. Um, this is new in the box, hasn't even had the shrink wrap open. So yeah, I thought we might uh, break this open and uh, see what we've got and uh, know, see if we can put it together. Crack open the shrink wrap. And see what we've got in. Uh, we've got some more tape. For how this comes apart. Air packing, air foam, whatever they call. Oh, looks like everything's inside there. And have some destructions. So this includes also the PCB with uh, something already soldered on, surface mount component. So that's handy because uh, yeah, that would have been a pain. box down on the floor. <coughs> Alright, so the Maximite computer. So it's come from Ultronix. Uh, I bought this on, on eBay oh, about two or three weeks ago. Um, oh, I thought it would be fun. So this was, uh, this might even be the original article. It says reprinted with the kind permission of Silicon Chip magazine. Uh, so this is probably the article that was in the magazine. Um, it was in the September and October editions of 2012, I believe. So um, yeah, this should be fun. So have a look and see what we got. We've got a, a circuit board, obviously. I can get it out. Out. Right, so there's the uh, circuit board and we have a PIC32 Microprocessor, microprocessor, microcontroller uh, already sold it to the board and this whole machine I believe is based around that so um, yeah handy that that was pre-soldered because that would have been awfully fiddly and pretty much everything else is through hole I think there might be one surface mount capacitor or resistor that we have to put on but that, that's not a big deal so in the, the main package this is actually the case for the computer and it has the other components in it so if we can get it open without marking the case and then hopefully yep that just comes apart and there's our bag of bits and the screws to put the case together. So that's the front panel with our power and activity LEDs in our SD slot. And around the back, we've got 
space for a VGA connector, a power input, an I.O. connector, a keyboard, I wonder what, hopefully it's a PS2 keyboard, because uh, I don't have anything else, USB port and an audio output. So um, yeah, I reckon we make a start on uh, putting this together. This leg bending tool that I 3D printed is godsend. Love it. in where we're at so far we've got our resistors on the board our diodes in now we're looking a bit like that so now we're looking a bit like that upside down but a bit like that with our headers on and then this goes on here Leads are getting bent, but that's right, straighten them out. That goes on there like that. There's another. That goes in there. Through the front, 
like that. <laughs> oh, and then this audio socket. Isn't quite big enough to. The hole's not quite big enough. Of course it's not. We can scrub it down. huge assumption here that this is going to work. Which I'm sure is going to bite me. machine. You just got to make this hole a fraction bigger. Might be a bit too big. No, it might not because that's a big size down. to neaten them up. It's not quite as little as I had in mind, but... Theory, we have a machine that should work. Then the lid just goes on. Like, so the lid just goes on like. So we fast forward 24 hours, uh, ran out of time last night. Um, anyone who was paying attention would have realized I forgot to put the uh, uh, real time clock battery in. So we should just quickly whip it apart and do that. law says it you put it together you put it together it's not going to work right so 
I have a VGA cable that I will plug into the VGA output, which of course is caught up around everything. And I have a 12 volt power supply and I've checked the polarity here. It's uh, center positive, which is what this expects. We won't plug that in just yet because we need a keyboard. I need a PS2 keyboard. Right, now I have a PS2 keyboard. Right, I don't have a great way of capturing VGA at the moment other than pointing a camera at a screen. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's see, if it works, let's plug the power in. Come on, come on. Hey, look at that. Let's have a look at the sprite demo. Let's see what we've got. All flat. So it looks a lot better on the uh, TV slash monitor that I've got here than it uh, than it does on the camera. But uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive for a machine that's based around a, a Pic 32. Apparently it can play music and and what have you all at the same time. That's pretty neat. Well, that marks the end of the construction of the, uh, the Maximite color computer. Um, hopefully you in enjoyed that. Um, maybe we'll see this little gadget again in the future. I, I don't know. Uh, it's got a lot of possibilities as far as you know, input, output, and you know, it seems like quite a functional little machine. So maybe it'll, maybe it'll uh, make an appearance again in future. Don't know. But uh, anyway, I hope you, hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, feel free to tap that subscribe and like button and all those other YouTube things and we'll see you on the next one which hopefully won't be as far away as this one was. Cheers.